Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. For today's video, I have something really, really exciting. Clarisonic just came out with a new foundation blending brush. It's an attachment that you can add to your current Clarisonic brush, and it's supposed to blend out your makeup. So if you are new here, please go ahead and subscribe if you love funky, weird beauty product reviews because that's exactly what this is. And also give this a thumbs up if you're really interested to see how this product performs. Okay, so let's get into this. So I scooted you guys in a little bit closer. I wanted you guys to really get an up close sense of how this product performs. So I just purchased the brush last week and it just arrived. And this is what it looks like. It's just a little attachment that goes on your brush, your Clarisonic brush. And when you take the cap off, this is what it looks like. Um, it's super, super soft. I was really surprised. I kind of thought this would be a lot tougher like some of the other cleansing brushes that they have in their line and just for a comparison this is what my little mia fit looks like and this is the normal cleansing brush that i use this is their sensitive like radiance brush attachment and this is the comparison to the foundation brush so this one's a lot smaller and a lot smoother so i have to confess i definitely stopped by the clarisonic website because i was just like I don't know if this product is really gonna work, you know? Like, I'm just worried that I'm gonna get foundation streaks all over my face. But um, I did just kinda wanna check out their site to see how I should apply the foundation, you know? Like, how it's supposed to work. They do claim on their website that this works with stick foundations and also liquid foundations. It is not suitable for powders, and it's supposed to blend out foundation, concealer, color corrector, anything liquidy. So um, I figured, you know what, let's just test out a stick foundation and a liquid foundation. So for the liquid foundation, I will be testing out with the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation on this side of my face. And for my stick foundation, I'll be using the Hourglass Vanish on this side of my face. So from the website, um, their little video that they had on there, the makeup artist just dotted the foundation or whatever it was, the liquid slash stick product, all over the face to cover the face and then used the brush to blend that in. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using this foundation brush to just kind of plop it on there and then we're gonna go ahead and blend. Now I'm fully aware that this particular foundation will not match my exact skin tone, but that's not really what we're testing for. We're just looking for blendability and having that nice smooth finish at the end. All right, so as you guys can see, I have that dotted on and now I'm gonna switch the brush head on my Mia Fit and then uh, We'll get started and see how this goes. Ooh, see this looks really nice. I'm gonna use the number one setting to do the blending and if that's not enough, we're gonna switch to the number two setting. <gasps> Whoa. You guys, this actually is doing some things. Wow. All right, you guys. This is the liquid side and this side has no foundation. Now, I just want you to look at my foundation brush. Like, there ain't any foundation left on the brush. That is amazing, okay? Because using a normal foundation brush, you guys know that after you're done blending out your foundation, how many of you have had foundation caked to the god on that brush? And they're so hard to clean, right? There's like nothing on here. Um, I'm, I'm shook. And I think that this looks so beautiful. You know what this looks like? It looks like airbrushed makeup. I will say their claims that it does take only 60 seconds to fully blend out. Um, I just did half of my face 
and after using the first setting, setting number one, I found that it did blend it out really nicely, I'll give it that, but there were certain areas like the crevices around my nose and around my mouth that needed a bit more time and blending, so I switched up to the number two setting on my Mia Fit and that took care of it right away. So in the future, I would actually just use that number two setting and perhaps that's what they mean, like that would give you that 60 second, you know, blending, but it looks beautiful. Um, so let's go ahead and move to the stick foundation side. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna dot the stick foundation all over my face and then I'm going to blend it. I'm also gonna kind of just wipe off the brush just in case there's any lingering color from the liquid foundation. That way, you know, we have like a fresh start with this side of the face. Okay, so I've got the finish foundation on this side of the face. Now, obviously, this color does not match my skin tone. This is my winter color, but this is the only stick foundation right now that I have that's, you know, like, decent. So we're just going to go with it. We're going to go with it. We just want to know, will it blend? Will it look flawless? Okay, round two. This time, I'm going straight to the number two setting. The stick foundation side, I mean, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. The stick foundation from Hourglass or the Giorgio Armani liquid side, huh? Tell me what you think. I'm gonna give you my opinion. So, first impressions, right off the bat, I haven't done anything to my face, you know, since I blended it with this Clarisonic. The liquid side was seamless. Once I figured out that I needed to put it on the number two setting, I mean, it was pretty bomb. Like, it it just straight up looks straight up like airbrushed makeup. Um, I think I'm a believer. Now, the stick foundation side, it does look very, very, very beautiful. Beautiful. My only caveat, and this is, I mean, a very small thing to pick out about this, is that when it comes to really small places to get, like the um, inner corners of your eyes, around your nose, this section right here, whatever you call that, I found that it was hard to get the brush to move the foundation in these sections. That's not even a big deal, guys. All you gotta do is take your little beauty blender or an alternative, whatever you have, and work that in there. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. And after you do that, boom, it's beautiful. So my first impressions is that it works beautifully, beautifully. And I'm really surprised because I'm gonna tell you I had major anxiety all week knowing that this brush was coming and being like, snap, like, what if this doesn't work? The brush is $35, like that's a lot to spend on a brush that just would leave foundation streaks all over my face or, you know, brush streaks. Um, I'm happy to say that this gets my approval. I'm very, very tough on products, especially when you're spending that much money for it. But I will say, if you want that flawless, airbrushed look. I mean, all you gotta do is get yourself a little Clarisonic foundation brush and uh, you're good. Why pay a makeup artist with an airbrush kit when you could just get a little brush attachment, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'm definitely gonna keep my brush. I'm gonna be using it. Uh, like I said, I'm a believer. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Right. Oh baby just pull tight. We're up the moonlight. Believe in the magic. On sight. We'll make it feel just right.